Well, anyway, Mike, so uh, <coughs> I just came back to the theater. The theater? I went to the theater and I watched the theater. Joaquin Phoenix starring as Napoleon. Napoleon nice. Bonaparte. Napoleon. How Napoleon. did the French how how did the French critics take a, a, a Joaquin Phoenix as their Napoleon? I don't Butterfly. know. Is that all these Frenchmen in this movie all sounded British to me? <laughs> well, but if you look at Joaquin Phoenix's face, <laughs> I think the main reason, apart from his acting prowess, mm -hmm. he looks like Napoleon. Um. Well, Napoleon didn't have a hairlet, but um, <laughs> I wouldn't say. I, I think he's a little tall for Napoleon. I think Napoleon was a bit shorter than him. You know, but but see that that's kind of the funny thing is that, you know, I was reading up on it a couple years back, and as apparently the the it's it's a myth that Napoleon Bonaparte was very was very short. Hmm, it's a myth. How do we know? Yes. That? Well, it, it'd be easy to tell. Couldn't you just like X-ray his like grave? I don't know. And I don't, measure. Do they know, where, do they know where he's born, where he's buried. I would imagine somewhere in France. <laughs> so let me tell you, this movie was was fifty percent about his relationship with uh, his wife Josephine. Yes, and, uh, I, I had read somewhere that there's a lot of historical inaccuracies in this film, so I couldn't tell you heads or tails which part were were real and which parts were just fiction. But Ridley well, Scott, Ridley Scott is a fantastic director. I thought it was a great movie to watch. I don't know if it's Oscar quality. But I do think it was entertaining. My wife and I watched the film all the way through. I didn't snore once. She didn't elbow me one single time, <coughs> signaling me to get the hell out. Wake up. Wake up, JV. Because <laughs> Lord knows I've done that before. I did Don't that. Drop the, I did you that. can't drop the popcorn in the movie theater, JV. Mike, I'm, gonna, I'm really throwing myself out to the wolves here. I, <laughs> I fell asleep and was snoring during the Fifth Shades of Grey. <laughs> yeah, that's not that hard to do, to be honest. I, I, I wife, nodded off. I nodded, wife, yeah. She was legitimately pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm snoring, and she's like trying to like wake me up because there's people looking around. You know, like who's this man snoring during <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, man. I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to throw it out like that. <laughs> <coughs> no, are... I'll, I'll admit I did not off in the movie as well when 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 my ex wife and I went to go see it when we were still married. Okay. Now speaking of that, in the film, Napoleon goes to Egypt with his army, and while he's in Egypt, he finds out through somebody that's one of his, you know, commanders or something, tells him that his wife took a lover. Yes, she was cheating on him. <coughs> so. He's like, well, screw this, and leaves Egypt and goes back to France, you know, to confront his wife about her affair. Right. I mean, here's a man who, I, I, I look, I don't know how you would react to something like that. Clearly, the man has a huge ego. So that this was this was already they were making comic, you know, like uh, drawings, you know, com comic strips of it on in the in the in the French newspapers. <laughs> But so, don't you want that for the emperor? No, Someone's in a huge ego. He probably felt humiliated by this, but rather than well, yeah. like, but rather than divorce her right then and there, you know, because to me that's like a red flag. But I call it crazy. But he didn't. He forgave her. So, so wait. So are you saying that Napoleon could be the the alpha simp? I don't know how how I. He was definitely whipped. There's no question about that. I mean, this woman had him wrapped around her pinky. You know. Yeah. So, so, so was he? Was he the Genesis simp? I mean, that you can make an argument, but I'm sure they existed before him. I'm sure but he was—he was, he would have been the first, the most powerful man in the world. The most powerful. Whoa, the Pierre. <laughs> 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 Hey, listen, if there's French viewers watching this, we want to apologize if we're making any... Uh, do we, though? Do we, though? Now we're making some stereoty <laughs> stereotypes here. That, and, and, and Mike, you and I will not do it again. 
Well, if, 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 truth, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. For, hold on, hold on. I'm going to say this for clarity, okay? I am mocking Monty Python, uh, mockery of the French. Uh, Just so know, we're clear. Kamala Harris, <laughs> wasn't it Kamala Harris that was in France said, it's the plan, you know, the plan. Uppercase T, uppercase P, the plan. And then the environment is such that we're expected to defend the plan. Oh, God. <laughs> the plan, the plan. <laughs> This woman is this woman's out there, man. He's, she's out there. Did she find the root cause? I, I I think she found the root canal in her mouth, maybe. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think I, I think I know where the root cause of the current mockery of you know American government is. <laughs> See, this is the thing. It has the initials K and H. Because you gotta, if you look back in time during Napoleon's day, you know, and he and everybody was making fun of him. But see, the French are very forgiving about that sort of thing. You know, I, I would think that they're more socially liberal about that. that, that sort well, of yeah. Thing. So they probably didn't make such a huge deal about his wife's affair as American public would have done back in those days. But that aside, um, uh, he was not without ridicule in his country even though he was probably arguably one of the most powerful men in the world. Mm -hmm. And then you take the president of the United States currently, um, and he, the man is just an absolute buffoon. I mean, why, I, I, you know, it's, it's so funny because the media will cover for this guy. You know, they didn't do that for, for Napoleon, for sure. Uh, and I would think for maybe a, a number of other presidents in this country and even in other countries, the media wouldn't cover for them. But, but, well, for but, but journalists, reason, journalists are supposed to keep a, you know, a, a leader in effect <laughs> in check. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's it's natural to some degree to have, you know, the, 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 the national media kind of like be it a hedge against a overpowering, you know, leader. Right, um, kind of like, like how it is now. Oh, the wait, Soviet no. Union was 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 notorious for having state media run. Oh yeah, stories. And well, any flowing stories. any any dictatorship, you're going to have North Korea, you're going to have Vietnam, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have uh, uh, the Soviet Union, China, um, Cuba. All those nations are going to have you know state run. Media. Canada, Canada is a, a huge example. Okay. PBS. <laughs> well, you see, this is why it's like it, it's so concerning about American media because you think I, I'm, I'm going to keep going back to this film of, of Napoleon because it is a he is a historical, historically yeah. significant figure, and you know they did the whole coup d'état in France and he he literally went through brute force, <coughs> you know the toppling of and the beheading of uh, Marie Antoinette. I'm sure kind of set this whole thing in motion. For him, and he eventually did take over and become the emperor. I think he crowned himself. He's like, yes. well, king wasn't good enough for him. Being a king wasn't good enough for him. He had to be the emperor, right? No, the higher the hierarchy <laughs> of king. He he invented a new uh, a new rung yes. on the ladder of on the hierarchy. Okay, but even though he was the emperor, okay, he was literally the absolute authority in France. They still, the media would still publish critiques of him. They would. Rightfully so, so. Why do we have a media now that's so soft on this literally uh, this because old folks' home patient that we have in the White House? JV, you know why? Because Joe has a stutter. And he's been, he's been having this issue with a stutter since he was a kid. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. And, and you have to be empathetic to that cause. I mean that that that's a big deal. Does that and stutter? Does, does that stutter also? Is that, is that also the reason why he's taking money from the Chinese and other countries? Okay, but I digress. Yes. I digress. Yes. His stuttering. Yes. Is, is this stuttering causing? The Do you know problems? how hard it is to oh, understand Chinese? <laughs> and on that note, Mike, <laughs> I hope we earned your like. I know this was kind of a, a whole tangent of a of a of a story. But I did want to. I do want to encourage people to watch Napoleon. I really do think that it was a, a good film. It's a little long. It's a little over two hours long. 
Um, but I, I thought it was I thought it was a very well crafted uh, movie. It seemed like it seemed like it jumped around a little bit here and there, but it's kind of hard to fit. You know. Well, I mean, Ridley of. Ridley Scott does good movies. He does good movies. That was a good movie. Yeah. I yeah, I'm, glad, not, yeah. I'm glad I spent money to see that movie, and not some other trash. <laughs> For sure. We hope we heard your like. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if, to the channel if you haven't done so already. Share this video with others. Mike, it's always a pleasure. Stick around. Gonna, stick around. We'll do another one right after this one. Yeah. All we'll right. Catch you on, we'll catch you on the, next time, on the next one. And until next time. We'll be guys. back after our words from our sponsors. God bless. New Kingdom Radio Theater.